Hello everyone, I'm Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman, and the topic for today's video is called The Unknown. Yesterday I was journaling and my guides had uh, moved in and was communicating with me as, we do, as normally what happens in journaling. And it's, uh, or just any other time as well, it's just really powerful when they, when they say, okay, take this down, write this down. Uh, make a video tomorrow because they knew that my day was very packed yesterday. So they're make a video tomorrow and it's going to be a little bit calmer for you. So here we go. The unknown. And as they felt that it was very important for everyone to understand this and that there's a lot of messages that's going to be coming through. And I find that I'm getting messages more and more. They're increasing. And this is messages for everybody. So the unknown. It is okay not to know everything, not to have an answer for every question. We are programmed to have answers for every question and to answer and have these answers very quickly. If we're not, then we're not intelligent. And that's simply not true. When you don't have an answer to a question, pause and enjoy this pause. Think about something else or shift your focus in another direction. Our subconsciousness will continue to search for answers to our questions. But we need to kind of distract our mind and let our sacred heart center, the subconsciousness, go to work. Even though we may be aware of this on a conscious level, we have to trust the process. It does require patience and trust. We get impatient and feel that we need the answers now, right now. And technology hasn't helped uh, with this, with patience. Let me tell you, because we, we find, remember when we were first on the computer years ago? what, 15, 20 years ago? Dial up. Remember how slow it was? And now internet connection is so fast. Everything is so much faster. We have cell phones to communicate with each other so fast. So it's the whole now, 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 now. And we get impatient and we need to just relax. We really do need to stop and take a deep breath. We get impatient and feel that we need the answers now or that we needed them yesterday. But if we really did need the answers, we would have had them already. Sometimes divine timing doesn't match our impatience, does it? <laughs> every answer, um, every solution arrives at the right time moment. We may feel that we have missed some sort of deadline by not having the answers ASAP, but please know that that deadline is an illusion. Wrapped up in impatience and control. We need that pause, that quiet time to allow the answers to reveal themselves. And just where do they reveal themselves? Mm. That's interesting, isn't it? Where do these answers reveal themselves? And some people question that. And that's a very good question. All right, They reveal themselves from within first. Always from within first. Then it is validated outside or without as within. So without as without, so within. So outside or without of you. Signs appear to support the knowing that has arrived. Some may say that only God has all the answers. Well, God is within you. God is within each and every one of us. We are connected and have access to the divine wisdom and knowledge within. We most certainly do. So always search inside first. Go within. And I'm telling you, you will receive validation, whether you call synchronization, uh, you love the synchronicity of it all. You love the validation. It 
most definitely backs up everything that you have been uh, receiving. And that's what we need. Now, the, so going within here in the Sacred Heart Center, some people may not feel it in their chest area. They do feel it in their mind, and this is why they get a little confused by it. Where the wisdom and knowledge is, too, is right here in the third eye. You have access to that. What happens is that when we have a balanced left and right hemisphere, a balanced brain, it bridges the gap between each side of the brain and makes it into a solid one brain. That opens up the third eye. Now there's balance and the third eye helps. It's like an antenna almost. Or it, almost it, it just reflects amplifies thank you it amplifies the messages the knowledge the wisdom that lies within it helps you to pull it out to understand and it's like oh now I get it because uh, we all kind of wait for some sort of sense I'll see it you know I have to see it to believe it or I'll believe it when I see it that kind of thing uh, so people say that or if, if I experience it on any of the physical senses, then, then, then I'll entertain thinking about it. No, you don't need to think. Our mind does not understand and comprehend our soul. That's right, you heard me. Our mind does not comprehend our soul. Our mind's not made to have the answers. Our mind is purely a computer for this body to store the information and absolutely to act as that antenna or that amplifier with the third eye. The third eye is connected to the sacred heart center, the heart chakra. And so this is, this is where that wisdom and knowledge is. So start within and then let it reflect outward. It's okay not to know. And, and I'm talking about knowing for yourself because a lot of times we want that. Uh, there's a lot of psychic mediums, uh, intuitives, empaths, all with the gifted abilities who also has this, this strong sense of knowing and maybe a little prophecy of knowing something ahead of time. This type of knowing uh, you have to be patient about this type of knowing unless you're instructed to tell who it involves immediately then you do not reveal it unless you're instructed to reveal it there's a lot of times we get a flash of an insight and it's just we'll write it down and then move on we're not supposed to hash it over you know way too long that what happens when you do that when you give it too much attention you actually manifest it because a lot of times what we get are snippets of one choice that is presented and there's many choices so we can't take that as the final destination either that's why it's always good to put the stuff on the back burner and you have to be careful and not just spit out everything that you get to pe to everyone uh, because until you really understand and see what are the other choices let me see the other choices do I share this with everyone and uh, so that kind of knowing because we do seem to know for everyone else a little bit quicker than for ourselves so it's but the, the, what the focus is, is on the, the unknown because we have been taught to have the answers. We must have the answers. And then this is where it gets confusing because when we're shipped off, marched off to school like good little soldiers to learn, to be brainwashed, to strip away our creativity, um, <laughs> a lot of times that's what it's doing. And I'm not saying schooling is bad. I'm just saying... Come on, people. You have to think about the workload that's being enforced on these kids now compared to the past and what are they teaching them. So, on what is truly being taught. Is it something that they can use out in the field, out in life? Anyway, I'm, like, I'm getting off there. But we were taught in school to 
All right, here, we're gonna take a test, answer these questions. If we do not answer specifically the way that they're supposed to, we're wrong. So we're taught to have the right answer immediately, quickly, and just, just to have it. And, and to have only one specific answer, not choices, not, hey, this is open. This is, you know, vibrating on so many different levels. It's not a closed, stagnant, final destination. So I hope this helps everyone to be comfortable with that not knowing and the unknown it really does, the answers really do come to us just at the right timing, it does. And don't let that unknown turn to fear either. I think that's a big thing, is that the longer that we don't have the answer, we seem to get a little anxious or fearful. And just always be careful what you're manifesting. How am I manifesting and creating this? Is because the energy that I'm putting into it. So make sure that the energy is balanced energy that you're putting into it. And it's okay. Say it's okay not to have all the answers. It really is. And that the solution always presents itself. It really does. So be comfortable with the unknown. Take a deep breath. It takes a lot of trust and patience and some people may even say faith that's fine faith belief which are all part of knowing they might be like the different levels of knowing but it's all part of knowing know that you will have access to the answers just in the right divine timing Thank you for taking the time, speaking of timing, to watch this video and any other videos that you have watched on my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching my videos, for listening to, I have weekly spiritual insight show on Tuesday evenings, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And just get the information from my website, whitesagewoman.com whitesagewoman.com and you can look under the TV and radio um, tab, I think it's radio shows and you can also check out the Goldilocks Productions as well. So thank you so much everyone and have a very blessed and beautiful day and week ahead. Many blessings.